Can you believe what you just saw today? No. Retired CHP Commissioner Spike Helmick oversaw security at the California Capitol for a decade. Just a tragedy. It just, I can't say it enough. He watched the deadly chaos at the U.S. Capitol, a mob storming the Senate floor, stunned. Is getting into a chamber, a legislative chamber. How important is that to protect and prevent that from happening? Well, I think it's, it's priority one. When Helmick was in charge of the California Capitol security, he says there was a big effort to keep access a priority, protecting the public's right to protest. The one thing they kept saying, do not make this a fort. Helmick says many subtle and undetectable security measures are in place in California state capitol. Some were added after this fiery scene. In 2001, an attack on the capitol. A man drove a big rig into the Senate side of the building during a legislative session. The truck exploding into a fireball. The driver died. There was a hearing going on. And they got out, but they could have die. It just shows you how things can happen for a variety of reasons. State investigators determined the driver of the truck was mentally disturbed with a grudge against the governor. <laughs> Helmick says this violent scene at the U.S. Capitol will lead to its own massive security review and new safety measures to prevent an attack like it again. Maybe this is a good wake-up call. Back here live at the Capitol, we wanted to show you this. We're on the south steps of the Capitol, and these are the barricades that were put in place after that truck rammed through the building here 20 years ago. You know, these Capitals are not only buildings. They're symbols for democracy, and protecting them is often a balance between access and safety, as we learned today. Now, the Washington Post tonight is reporting that the U.S. Capitol Police have 2,000 officers on the force, but many of them today were actually in street clothes and not prepared in riot gear. All right. Thanks so much, Steve.